Hello once again. Uh, for those who came in later, I know there are a lot of people uh, from uh, Scandinavia and other countries, and uh, I will not uh, going to. I'm not going to list all of the countries because I don't know myself. But welcome to this conference. After the plenary session, we are already warmed up. <laughs> But now we move uh, to the multiplier event of uh, the Erasmus Plus program project, which is called Opening Universities for Virtual Mobility. Uh, this is one of the series of the projects that we have been participating in, in different programs, previously like Long Learning Program, then Erasmus Plus Program, taking all these chances to elaborate the concept of virtual mobility in our universities and also to investigate what kind of concept it is and what do we need to do in order to prepare and to implement this innovation in practice. We uh, uh, have had already possibilities to work uh, with the consortia who have experience in virtual mobility, but suddenly, well, it was not maybe so much suddenly, but uh, in autumn 2013, we read the new communication from the European Commission of the opening up. And even though we had some practices, we started looking at the concepts and investigating which of them is broader, in fact because we did not know. We have to identify, to find this out. And we met that opening up for universities is a very huge challenge. Not fully discussed, not fully explained. It's a good idea, we feel it's a good idea, and we have certain steps, but how to do it? We have a lot of questions. Openness of higher education is encouraged by various instruments. One of them, we already, uh, successfully apply and uh, we have a project and we implement but also uh, we know that in order to meet this challenge of opening up we need to develop and use open educational resources then we of course find out that open educational resources is something different from open data from open science from open society from open educational practices a lot of questions we need also to open up curriculum and our modules in our programs, and it's a challenge. We need to establish virtual mobility practices and many other practices for opening up in universities because we want to. We feel we are ready, but we just don't know how to. We don't want to jump at an in, in, innovation in a fragmented way. We somehow want to be responsible in the university uh, how to integrate it successfully. So we think that openness is an innovation and should be integrated in an organization through all areas of its activities. And we list out here the seven areas of these activities. The problem. The problem that was addressed by this project is that teachers need training on how to develop and use OERs for curriculum designing. Because when we say curriculum and when we say OER, people understand two different things. And for us, it seems to be the same kind of thing, but we need to put and to find a place where to put each other. Blended in brackets, virtual mobility should be introduced as a regular study form with recognition, with credit transfer, and uh, it is a form of study exchange and internationalization. <coughs> so, well, it meets the strategy of our universities. Then, teachers should be able to design curriculum for virtual mobility. And believe me, this is completely different, and Margarita will address this issue later. Universities should be prepared, in fact, internally, through regulations, procedures, uh, to recognize the outcomes of this internationalization and modernization. It means we need to know the rules. And, of course, a university should prepare to implement virtual mobility in study programs. So, if I may mention the scope of this project in the context of all these challenges, 
If I put here all seven areas of organization activities, only infrastructure, if I may, a hard infrastructure, not soft, maybe not the software, would be missing from the scope of this particular project. And I will tell you how. Virtual mobility implementation internal rules are being created at our organizations working in this consortium. Bilateral agreements for virtual mobility are being prepared. Master study program is being designed using open educational resources for virtual mobility. Three intensive academic staff training mobilities are taking place, and this is very important. I know that sometimes uh, people write uh, projects for Erasmus Plus program, and these uh, intensive staff training uh, visits um, are not supported well enough. I think we succeeded to support that this is important, and now implementing this, we see that this is crucial, in fact. So this is a continuous professional staff development issue and developing of OERs and virtual mobility modules is, again, uh, uh, under it. University non-academic staff should also be prepared to provide support for teachers. So support system should be in place and running. Quality assurance procedures. Now we are at the point during the second year of implementation of the project to go through curriculum which is adapted to virtual mobility is already almost completed in the first phase to be peer reviewed. So what we have to do, Margarita will present to you, we need to negotiate with the collaborators from other universities in the same study subjects to agree upon the criteria, solutions, decisions, why it is needed or not needed. There's a lot of work. And then marketing and business, and we are not used to it, because we know that in our, when we have students, we, we have already a running study program, and it is on. But then we take modules and we start marketing them. We invite foreign students. So for this reason, we need a portal. We chose openstudies.eu, uh, and we will show it in our working group, those who are interested in the session. Uh, which implements marketing and communication function. So, maybe that was the biggest part and the comp most complex introduction, but I, I wanted you to see that, in fact, this is not so simple. It is not a trip to another country in a virtual way. It is completely different thing, in fact, because if you want to implement it consistently, you need to think about all these areas. So we are the coordinators of the project, and we have partners here. Uh, KU Leuven does not uh, develop uh, modules for the study program, but with other universities we collaborate in designing curriculum, designing real formal study modules for master program for real exchange with recognition, credit transfer, and other issues. This will be implemented. So uh, the, now the aim of the project is to open university, in fact, uh, university studies for virtual mobility by training teachers and academic and non-academic, I should add, staff on how to design master program curriculum, how to establish collaborative, you know, trusted relationships among teachers. Because this, most, this is most important. Universities write contracts, they collaborate, but teachers are individuals and how to integrate uh, these opening education innovations in everyday practices. This is not the issue of a project. This investment should be used continuously. If it is only in a project, well, uh, yes, of course, it is worth <coughs> to experience what it means. But for, the, for organization, I suggest to think really thoroughly to go through all the areas and do steps uh, one by one. So objectives, of course, meet the aim. We do training material for teachers and university staff. Then we train staff at our uh, universities uh, how to design virtual mobility curriculum, how to develop, use, and reuse open educational resources for the same purposes, and then even how to apply correct licensing. In this area, it is still an issue. I know we, we are still uh, discussing what is a kind of free license what is Creative Commons, what, what are the uh, licensing tools that are available. 
Then we develop uh, 10 modules for master program and master program will be implemented actually in spring semester 2016 uh, with the collaborating consortium institutions. So we have 34 teachers involved. This is the scope of the project, but we are very happy to have here also today participating from Shulei University, organizations which are not directly involved in the project, but who follow closely through our meetings, collaboration, and they try to find the funds to participate in a parallel way to transfer this model to their universities, even without having Erasmus Plus funding. So we have five intellectual outputs, so two awareness training and training workshops, and exchange with the master students. So we will present to you in the working group uh, the training material for teachers and staff. We will show to you, and also Margarita will present uh, the modules, uh, the list of the modules. Uh, program unique features, um, uh, well, first of all, curriculum is being designed in a collaborative way. This is really an issue. <laughs> and it's very difficult, but it's very, very interesting. Uh, curriculum is online and adapted for virtual mobility. One third of the modules are developed as open educational resources themselves. We applied uh, Creative Commons licenses and the program modules will be offered on the basis of bilateral um, institutional agreements signed for virtual mobility. This is innovation as far as I know. So we invite you at our group to discover more about the project after all presentations are over. And of course, join us at Facebook uh, to follow further developments.